What is up guys, welcome back to another vlog. We are on the way to Leicester, it's the UK weekend. I've got five shows in three days whilst being two weeks out from a marathon. Good timing, it's never good timing. However, this is gonna be a sick one. Leicester tonight, I believe, is almost sold out, over a thousand people. Tomorrow is Modern Function at the Cause. I believe that is almost sold, sold out. That's over a thousand people. Then we've got the Dog and Whistle in Hartford on Sunday morning, afternoon. So that one feels like the morning because it's the first gig of the day, but it's actually at 2 p.m. So we're starting in Hartford at 2 p.m. Playing there till 3.45. Then we're driving to Cardiff, which is like 2,000 people with Max Dean and Enzo. And for that one, it's streamed by DJ Mag. So completely uh, epic experience because we all know what DJ Mag can do for the old career trajectory. And then finishing near home in Liverpool. So quite the drive-in. Jake's in the driver's seat next to me. I'm a passenger princess as always. And yeah, I'm ready for it. Ready for it. Having five, six shows in a row in such a short space of time is well has been unheard of to this point you know for every good gig there's usually three or four average ones you know and not that busy clubs not that good them kind of things whereas like everyone this weekend seems to have something strong going for it we're going to arrive tonight in leicester at around 8 p.m gonna nap before the gig tonight i'm playing at 1 a.m and make sure tonight is also well this weekend is a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, tomorrow I want to get some miles through the legs. Nothing too crazy, but I had to buy a new pair of carbons because I raced last weekend the Wilmsley Half Marathon on three and a half hours sleep. Got one hour, 31 and 59 seconds, but my heel got demolished by the New Balance carbons that I just bought. So 280 quid trainers, battered. Um, but the problem is, with the carbon shoes for racing, they've got a carbon plate in them for anyone that's not familiar. And basically makes you spring uh, from each step, makes you go quicker. But you're not supposed to wear them when you're doing your easy runs, things like that, because there's not much stability. And then when you buy the pair for race day, you're not really meant to wear them much before because you want the carbon to stay springy and effective. So I wore the New Balance ones straight out of the box bad bad idea when i got home from the race my socks were covered in blood heels fucked uh not good not good the race itself went pretty well i was going for sub 130 which was very ambitious i was within touching distance until the last i would say 1.5k i was was i was with the pace of the one hour 30 so we stick with it we essentially should make it and I was like in my head thinking I've not got this, I'm gonna give up. And and then I committed in my head, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, because I always just tell myself the pain is gonna remain if I go slightly slower or slightly quicker. So you might as well go fucking faster, son. And I committed to going faster, and then I got a stitch, I got a fucking stitch with 1200 meters to go, 1400 meters, something like that. I had to stop, pull over, like almost like hunched up, couldn't physically walk and my last kilometre was like a minute slower than every other kilometre so if I took off that minute I would have come in at 1 hour 30 and 59 seconds so I'd have to have shaved off 59 seconds to get sub 130 would I have been able to do that about the stitch? Probably not but I lost some time on that kilometre before the last one as well so bad end, I was pretty pissed off actually um, and I barely slept so if I had slept properly, would I have got it? I don't know. But in my book of goals for the year, one of them was a sub 130 half. So I'm going to have to go and do it again at some point. Um, but anyway, the Manchester Marathon is in two weeks now. I'm going to go for sub 3 hour 15. Um, I was kind of making jokes about going sub 3 in that video, well, a couple of videos ago. No way is that happening. I think 3.15 is the shape I'm in, and I want to enjoy it. So. That's that, so we won't get some miles in this weekend. Still gonna try and enjoy the party inside of this weekend. Not go too crazy at the blocks, but probably will have a few shots at some point. And yeah, keep you guys entertained. 
so deep. Let me show you. Let me show you the carbon they'll run about. Look at them bad boys. So these are hopefully the ones. Snacks in the room. I'm gonna try and have a nap, so I'm not gonna eat this, but I love a good biscuit that hotel gives you. Doesn't cost them much, but it's fucking unreal. Might have to save it till uh, when I get back. Oh look. There's even the chocolate cookies, man. <laughs> chocolate cookies on deck. What else have we got? Just sometimes I have a decaf. Sometimes I have a decaf. So I might have a have a nap, wake up, have a decaf, and there's even some galaxy hot chocolate. So little things in life, guys. Little things in life. But yeah. I'm gonna chill for a bit, I need to sink the USB, etc. Then it is time for gig one. But the sleeping before these long nights, well, tonight's not a long night, but sleeping before helps a lot, so. Yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Nap complete. Managed to get about two hours in. Today we're rocking the new Birkenstock mules. As you'll probably know, well, any long time viewers will know, I like to wear slip on footwear, I feel more free when doing so. The Crocs, don't quite cut it, playing the gigs, and look how worn out they are. Need to get a new pair. So I'm gonna try these out, because they go with the jeans pretty well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have a few shots. Just had a nap, had a cup of tea, so a bit of caffeine, not too much, because I find coffee fucks my sleep up, if I have a coffee at this time. Had a couple of those biscuits that you saw in for the chocolate one, and yeah, looking forward to it. The menu looks good, it's like a 360 booth, so. So the secret to no hangovers, guys, is electrolytes before you drink. I'm not gonna get smashed, I'm just gonna have like maybe two, three, maybe four shots, but hydrate yourself before. Only drink tequila, ideally Patron or something of a similar grade. There's no shit in it. Don't have any fucking crap mixes. If you're gonna mix it, have it with soda. Tequila, lime and soda method, as preached by Daddy Wallace on TikTok. Even if you don't train in that, electrolytes are the hangover cure. Let's go. Log some miles. Got about three hours sleep as usual. My new favorite hobby is to run around aimlessly whilst barely sleeping. Just what I did last weekend for that half marathon. So, got the new carbons on. Gonna try and get some K's in. I don't like it when I don't know where I'm going. I might even just do a loop of this fucking hotel a few times because I think there's like a block. If you see, there's the stadium there. I might literally just run round in a circle. I reckon it'd be about a K each time. And that way I just switch my brain off and I just move my legs versus trying to figure out where to go. Run complete folks, it was decent. I opened up the legs a bit, the shoes felt good. I'm missing a trick with the tightness of the laces. I need to do double knots, keep doing single knots and then they kind of get loose. So rocket sign so. So that's what I need to start doing. Um, open the legs up, do the 401 kilometer. The average pace of the 5K was like 427. I just started off at like 450, then did like a 430, then a 420, then a 401, because I'm such a fucking unit. Um, and then the 5th K did like 445 just to cool down a bit. So I'm just gonna get my stuff ready and hit the road. I'm gonna get some sunglasses today. I'm gonna do it on I don't know if I did vlog that, but I've been debating for a while, treat myself some shades. I'm gonna, you know, get one this weekend because we have a landmark weekend with so many gigs. I'll never ever forget this weekend because I'll have the sunglasses until I lose them. 
or I fucking break them because that seems to happen every time I buy some nice sunglasses. Halfway checkpoint to London from Leicester, two and a half hours, gone for a Subway. So we've got Italian bread, six inch, onions, peppers, jalapenos, and the hack is, you ask him, chicken tikka, and when he's put it on, you say, hi mate, can I get double meat? Then he'll give you loads again. And that's a double at the start, give you skimpy portions. So decent macros, no sauce, I guess around 40 grams of protein, maybe 500 calories in total, maybe less, good shit. We're arrived in London. Uh, we're debating whether to get a bike, a tube, or walk. I don't know, the weather's pretty nice, but we're near some London XL. Never heard of it, but there's a big boat around the corner. So I'm kind of debating the bike, but it says everything's miles away, like 40 odd minutes on the bike. And I've just realized I'm in these, so no. We're just gonna walk down this way. Like I said, I wanna get some sunglasses. Had some recommendations on the old Instagram but nothing's jumping out at me just yet. I think step one is getting the sunshine. It's not bad here, you know. Scenery, eh? Got these shades. They asked if I'd shopped there before. I said yes, found my email. I'd already bought the exact same pair like two years ago. I always get this exact same style of glasses. Let's see how long these last, guys. Probably fucking, probably lose them today, but successful. Let's head back. Happiness doesn't cost a lot in life. A Magnum and a pair of shorts sat in the sun. Things that do cost a lot in life, the camera this is being recorded on. So hopefully inspire a generation anyway with these videos. Uh, but yeah, what a belt a day. Shades are on, buzzing. The Burks are on, the legs are out. The sun is shining and it's Magnum season, guys. If you're ever in a boost of happiness, get a Magnum. We'll sit outside and just take it all in. Easter guys, it's Sunday, it's about 11.50. We are packing our stuff up, ready to roll to Hartford for the dog and whistle. Never had so many guests request for one party. Who would have thought the local boozer in Hartford? Um, last night was top, the cause, what a gaff. It's kind of amnesia, people up the top, people around. I had a good, really good time playing actually. I nearly got roped into going to Fabric because I was in the mood. That's how much I was enjoying myself. It was one of those like literally cliche YOLO moments because Delgado looks and stuff are on and that's still kind of like the music I like to listen to if I'm just pure partying. P partying, is that the right word? Well, listening, just not even partying. I'm just always intrigued by them DJs. So yeah, got in about 
4 45 obviously the clocks went forward i think we're asleep by like five past five i've been out i've got some steps in for an hour 12,500 i'm a fucking beast and yeah probably seven of them were from last night but yeah, Roland's heart for today. We've got the big day of three gigs, not really any time between each one. Jake behind the cameras, tour managing, videoing, being the fucking guy that's making it all happen today. And yeah, last night I stuck some word. I played a bit more of an underground set. The first half an hour was fucking good. And um, then I played some of the more like popular party tunes for the second half. <laughs> played quite a lot of my own music last night. But all in all, good shit. Every show sold out today, I think. We're on the road, doing it properly. So, we'll see you in Hartford. The key to survival on the road is choosing high protein options with somewhat limited carbs because we need to hit our protein target for the day at all costs. Ooh, we found it. So they've got smashed avocado and poached eggs on toast. Poached eggs are good because they can't add milk or, or cream in that. But yeah, avocado as well, superfood. But try and eat good guys on the road. It, it accumulates and the guy behind the camera is probably gonna get a fucking quarter pounder with like cheese all over the fucking chips and that but yeah this is good breakfast food trying to add an extra egg two types of people in this world right not that bad not too bad it's not too bad guys to be fair it's fucking good <laughs> it's not fucking minimal salmon i'm saying 25 grams of protein so I will, what I'll do is, I'll get some kind of protein yogurt. Sorry, I do, but I eat a few chips as well. But I'm telling you, trying to maintain your protein intake on these like, weekends, etc. if you're traveling, is essential for retaining muscle and gaining muscle. Right, we've got to stock up on food now. I'm gonna ask the pack to check that you usually go to, but the selection's pretty fucking weak. I've only got a plain chicken. Dad, dad, guys. So, meal deal final, boss. Round 7,045. Just had a bit of a Coke Zero. Right amount of caffeine to G me up a bit. I think the coffee would send me over the edge from all the fucking Patron. Um, to cure people, though. Right guys, just finished uh, gig four. Before we start, look at this TikTok. <laughs> there are, uh, I think it's Lester. <laughs> and it says, Studio 5, Josh Baker. I've reposted on my grid, so if I don't want to see it, that's unreal. We are now leaving Cardiff on the way to Liverpool. We arrive at 0040, which is 1240, and the gig is at 1.
Bang.